Welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Coach Dusty here with a brand new video. Today is the start of the Bitcoin 2022 conference that's down in Miami right now. And I've been just reminiscing today about last year's conference, which was in April, actually. So it's they're doing it like 11 months apart from the previous one, which is which is cool. I like how they're they're kind of putting them out a little bit quicker now because they didn't they weren't doing them because of covid for a while and now they're getting back into them and 2021 was one of the was the biggest conference in all of these bitcoin conferences that they've been doing these annual conferences and i had a absolute blast it was a lot of fun and today we're just gonna be talking about what i've learned so far in the past year being involved with bitcoin owning bitcoin and just really absorbing as much knowledge as I can in the space of crypto because it's been a lot. It, once you start to kind of dabble into all the information, you could get pulled a lot of different directions. And this conference was a good place for me to just kind of kind of get a better understanding of where I fit into crypto because there's a lot of different avenues that you could go into. You could go in from a development aspect, you go from an entrepreneurial aspect you could go from an investor aspect you go into as a trader you could go into as a as like a youtuber someone like you know a, a, an influencer in the space this is or a miner this there's so many different uh avenues that you could dabble into when it comes to crypto so kind of gathering all that information into my thesis and what i've been learning i definitely more so an investor and that's always been who I've known myself to be. So coming into the space, my thought process of which cryptos to invest into was very small. I really came down to the two cryptos being Bitcoin and Ethereum. Ethereum is the platform where non-fungible tokens are traded within. So Bitcoin, which has been my primary investment which is something that I originally didn't invest into. It was originally my first investment was Ethereum. And that was right after Bitcoin was starting to pump pretty heavily in the beginning of 2021. So getting into it, it was like, all right, I kind of started to learn about how Ethereum kind of starts to rot, kind of follows the same kind of trajectory as Bitcoin. If once Bitcoin goes up, Ethereum follows. So Bitcoin just had a huge rally. So me getting into that space, I was like, all right, so Bitcoin just rallied. Let me, I believe in Ethereum long term, it's something I would hold for at least 10 years. So I was like, all right, this is a good entry point. It's all about finding good entry points when you believe in something long term. So if you believe in something long term, really every entry point is good, right? You want a dollar cost average into the market, which is what I'm doing. So it's like, that was the first time where I was like, all right, <clears throat> let me get in now. I think the price is going to pump. And that's exactly what happened. The price was around $1,100 per Ethereum. I invested and, and it, it, go, it went up pretty, pretty significantly within the, it chopped within 1800 relatively quick after just getting in. And then I started to learn more and more about crypto and Bitcoin and how it's scarce it is and <clears throat> being able to actually send and receive crypto using you using it and actually seeing the the transactions go through on the blockchain once you start once you actually have that experience for the first time you're like okay this makes sense so that was like when i really started to understand and really look more into it and once you start to learn about how there's only a 21 million block 21 million bitcoin that could ever be in circulation and how it's there's a mathematical <clears throat> system that's that <clears throat> really makes this whole technology work it starts to from an investor standpoint it really starts to make sense to, to just buy and hold it because if you believe in the technology the more money that gets put into the network and into the technology the higher the price over the long term so it's been a really fun hobby honestly because Investing, it's like it's something that you you have to put in a lot of time to learn, and you have to put your money where your mouth is. You have to also have the discipline and the belief 
enough to not sell, right? You can't be, you can't have paper hands where you're just going to be selling it based off of motion. You have to really come to a conclusion early on and, and being able to, and being able to ride that thesis throughout a long period of time. That's what makes being a good investor, a good investor, right? You, you're not going to see the returns within a, a couple of years, years of a time frame. You really have to have that mindset of being a long-term investor. And that's exactly where someone who believes into Bitcoin, that's a good place to be. So that's where I've been primarily investing into. And it's been awesome. I mean, technically the, the price right now, the early, the earliest I ever bought Bitcoin was around 30, 32,000. That's what is what the price was my first, first ever buy. And um, yeah, like right now we're only, it's only at 44,000. It's a good price to get into even right now because it shot up to around 69,000 and it went back down to 30, but we're starting to see more and more institutional investing and more regulation. And that's exactly what we need. The more regulation, the more companies and, and big wealth funds are going to be <clears throat> putting mo their money where their mouth is because they're gonna have more confidence in seeing Bitcoin as a long-term investment. So this has just been so much to just take all take in over the past year and it's like Bitcoin and, and learning about crypto all throughout 2021 was the majority of my focus because I knew that the time I spent, the time I'm putting into this now and learning about it and, and taking in as much information as I can it will pay off down the road as long as I'm also putting my money where my mouth is because now now that I've invested a lot and I've put so much time into into learning about Bitcoin now it's like my second run at it it's like my second now it's like all right now I need to save up more and more and more so that I can invest more right it's like I I, I have my first initial you know big investment that I really want to make into crypto now it's time to just stack back up and continue to have bigger goals, right? It's all about rethinking your goals and having bigger goals down the road. That's you can't just stop once you get your once you once you get to your goals. Once you get to your goals and you get complacent, you're gonna go the complete opposite direction. Those goals that you once had, all the reward is just going to disappear because you didn't set higher and newer goals that are going to take you to a newer level. So that's something that I'm continuing to work on throughout not only my investing journey, but also my mental health, physical health, business goals, right? Like it's everything in life. You always have to set higher and new goals to take yourself to the next level. So Bitcoin has been that awesome staple and freedom coin that I've been really embracing and, and and i know that the future of bitcoin is going to be really bright for the entire world and i'm going to do my part in in, in sharing it, my journey so if you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little bit of a longer one make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and until next time this has been your boy coach dusty i'm out peace